what Red Shoes is not. It's not a warm and fuzzy concept that, you know, we talk about. One of the pillars in the framework is respect and kindness. It's our belief at Red Shoes and with all the research we're doing that best-in-class organizations, best-in-class leaders are respectful. They're respectful and kind wherever appropriate and possible to their employees, to their customers, to the outside world, if you will. And sometimes that pillar alone, people look at it and say, well, that's a little warm and fuzzy. Look, I'm fiercely competitive. Every one of the organizations that I work with that are best in class are fiercely competitive. They just choose to do it in a certain way. They choose to be respectful. They choose to be kind. You know, if you look in the press uh, today, there's all kinds of disrespect happening in the world, whether it's in business or it's in politics or wherever it's coming from. Those that are standing out for the positive are the ones that are showing respect, that are giving respect, that are earning respect. You have to earn that every single day. So what Red Shoes is not as warm and fuzzy. It's a performance metric. It's a, an accountability to being the best version of yourself, to standing out literally in everything you do every single day. As I say that, we're human beings. We're going to make mistakes at times. And so we talk in Red Shoes about that. You know, and in the companies that I've worked with, they, they create this environment of productivity and innovation and of risk taking. That's red shoes. That stands out. You know, if we get too close to the edge, there are people there to pull us back. You know, and the best in class organizations are hiring red shoes people. They're using the philosophy and framework to literally hire people that they believe are red shoes, that will do all those things to stand out. What red shoes is also not is something that's not measurable. Companies are measuring engagement. They're measuring their, their customer experience scores. They're measuring you know, the sentiment of the leadership team, if you will. They're really putting some measurements to it in a meaningful way. So there is an element to it that says, look, let's wake people up you know, with the human spirit. Let's put that at the forefront of everything that we do. But let's be smart about this. Let's make sure we're getting impact. Let's measure it. You know, what's the ROI on that? Everybody wants to talk about that.